Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. So I am getting ready to go out to dinner with Bay, uh, and we're celebrating his birthday, which was two days ago. But whatever. <laughs> this is the day we wanted. We're going to this new place. I am really what's well, new to us. I am really in the mood for a steak. Now, how y'all like y'all steak? I'm gonna tell you something right now. My people, y'all love a well done steak. Okay. <laughs> that ain't me. I just I, my beef. I, shoot, it could still be on the damn cow. Honestly, um, I like my medium uh, rare, but like a lot of pink, it can be. I love it. Uh, but well done steak. I just I can't get with it. I'm, just, I'm sorry. I know that's we we need our stuff well done. No, and then be shaking the table, trying to cut that hockey puck. At the, I, <laughs> uh uh, no thank you. But. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know why I wanted that so box, but no, I want a good steak, juicy. That's what I'm in the mood for. Anyway, <laughs> started with violence in this video. Um, yeah. So I also got the rest of my glasses. My glasses came in from Zelo. I ordered uh, five pairs from Zelo. Not sponsored. Not affiliated. I just like glasses. Um, and so I'm going to do a little try on at the end of this video. Now for the eyes, because I am going to be wearing glasses. Um, for the, I don't have my contacts in, so if I'm squinting, it is what it is. I have some new products to play with, and they are, from you can tell from the hauls, we got cream shadows, liquid shadows. Um, I'm going to figure it out. I really like this green. I'm, I'm feeling green. From Wara, this is the... Uh, Everlast Shimmer Shadow in Olive Grove. We have this green. I thought it was really pretty. Uh, I just don't know. I think I might combine it with this one. What is this? Era from, um, might do something with that. From, um, come on, come on, Shop Miss A. I got the green, the At a Glance, the At Glance Shadow Stick, the new one from Mora. This is, um, in the shade, uh, olive green as well okay so that could match i think i'm feeling green i really want to throw everything on my eyes these beautiful liquid shadows i just i know i can't um i already tried my lids i did for some neutrals um shot my stash i pulled out my minted everyday eyeshadow palette this i got on clearance when minted was being um uh taken out of um ulta's and all their stuff was like 75 90 percent off I thought this was a really cute, small, um, neutral palette. I'm just going to lean more on the browns, the lighter browns in here, just to set the tone. Just set, give me something. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to use, they don't have names, but I'm going to go ahead and go into um, this here, the, right, the smack dab in the middle one, and start this look start this look so I'm gonna blend building up my transition here oh my god it's Friday um, I'm filming this on the 30th of June my birthday month's over um, and we're going into July crazy everyone says it's crazy time's flying it is what it is um, but I that means this weekend I am getting my planners together for July for a new month. Um, I've been re-inspired. Uh, I still use my Happy Planner. I gotta get back on my planner channel. But I have been re-inspired by the planner. So like on TikTok, I'm kind of like in the makeup community, the funny community. I'm all over the place crafting. But like I dove into just planners and the Happy Planner and people's planners. And I was like, do I want a new planner? Am I getting tired of the Happy Planner? And the answer is no. The answer is I always want a new planner. But I am going to keep pushing with my big happy planner. Dashboard layout. I still love it. And um, I'm going to go into a lighter shade to do the edge. Same brush. Um, and my happy planner. And so I just... One thing about me is I'll do, I do plan. My mind, I'm an anxious person, I'm a type A person, my mind is so busy, I try to get everything down, but I still don't. Like, I, I have the planner, I write down, I organize my appointments, and yet I still feel like 
I'm forgetting stuff. Like I still feel like by the time I hear or by the time I acknowledge an appointment sometimes or a task that I need to do that needs to go on a list literally before I can get to the list <laughs> it, it, sometimes it's like it, it, other things have so many things have come in that I just yeah I don't know I don't feel like my planner reflects all the things that are going on in my head I think I seem to think sometimes with my planner when I'm planning I focus on the important things like that I can't miss like the bills do like the you know the doctor's appointments but then like all the other brain dump things I want to get them out of my head and I have a little brain dump section in my planner each week I will put the brain dump thing but I mean like day to day like get it out of my head <laughs> so with that being said I think um, I decided to keep using the big size because I was like maybe I'll downsize my planner no um, maybe I use the big size uh, I mean use a smaller size I'm like no I need to utilize this big size so I'm just excited I got re-inspired and I'm being on the looking at people's different layouts and things and how they customize I don't know got re-inspired anyway let's do this shimmer shadow this is actually I'm lying I want to do this one from shop miss a first um, where is it what color did I like and we're gonna do the green on the outside Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute, friends. You know what? I got it. I got it. We're going to do this shade. This is the Crystal Visions. It's a dual chrome. That's pretty. It's a dual chrome. It, it doesn't look like much uh, in, the, in the pan. But uh, putting that on the inner corner, I am going to try to use a brush with this because I want to be a little bit more controlled. Um, so I'm going to pick some up with a shadow brush and see what we can do. But I'm going to keep it on the inner part. Oh, yeah. That's that's exactly... Okay, we're good. We're good. Ooh. It's going down nicely. I'm not cutting the crease or anything. I'm going to kind of blur everything out. But that's pretty. Ooh, yeah. That's pretty. I'm going to be a little conservative with it. Because um, I want to use that olive green in there from the Mora. But this is soft and, and pretty. We'll see if it creases. It should not. Um, just how I feel with the formula, how I'm feeling, the vibe, <laughs> the vibe it's giving me. I I don't think it's gonna um, crease. Oh, that's pretty. I don't think it's gonna crease, but I also use. I put down a transition shade. Um, you saw me. I also used eye primer. Um, so. I also use eye primer, and I don't do any of those things uh, when I usually wear my ColourPop Super Shocks. And this is giving me the same texture and formula. Well, not formula, I don't know, but the same texture as that. And so that's kind of what I'm comparing it to. And um, so I, hopefully I gave this one a fighting chance. But that's Crystal Vision, so we're going to do that. Ooh. This might be TMI, but I feel a huge burp brewing. <laughs> You know, you, and it's almost painful, like those gas paint, it's almost, it's like, yeah, I feel it, oof, oof, okay, so this is the uh, olive green, the Mora, this cream shadow, that's really pretty, I am going to go ahead and do, and I'm picking that up with the same brush, it's very moussey, I'm going to try to be, okay, definitely think I got a lot, okay. I'm going to go ahead and do this on the next part. Definitely overlapping. Okay. Do those two look good together? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's a good... Ooh, that's pretty. Blend it easily because they're both creams, so that's good. So I'm going to pull this over. Oh my god, my stomach is going to explode. It feels terrible, but I know what it is. <laughs> oh my goodness. Power through. How you guys like that? That's pretty. That's really pretty. Okay, I'm going to do the other eye. Do I want liner here? 
Um, we gotta get there. We gotta get there. So soft. This olive green. Okay, it's going away. This olive green. This is really pretty, and this texture, this texture of this shadow, I like it. I like it. It's really soft. If it looks patchy, it's not. I don't know on the camera, I'm looking at my viewfinder, it looks patchy. But in my mirror, it's full coverage, it's, I don't know, it's the light, I don't know. But it feels really nice. It feels really good. Now these are creams, so I don't know. I don't know. I do want to, want a little bit of depth in the outer corner because I love that. I'm going to leave those like that. I'm going to leave those what they are. I'm actually going to give it a moment to set to set in. I'm going to take take a little bit more of my crease shade and just kind of make sure I even out everything. Okay, I think I want to use another one for my brow highlight. Let's go ahead and find something that I think I might like. Do I want to use Mora or do I want to use Shot Miss A? Both are killing the game right now. I'm going to go with the Shot Miss A. This is uh, Betrothed. Let me see. Yeah, that's pretty. Let's put that on the brow. We're really, we're really playing with these cream shadows. I remember my journey. I was not a fan of of cream shadows, but now, I mean, I um still love powder more. Don't get me wrong, but I'm growing. We're all growing. Let's do that. Put a little bit more. I'm not going to wear lashes today because I don't feel like it. I am going to slap the mascara on. I know I said that last time and then we had lashes on. I'm not going to put lashes on. <laughs> I promise I won't. I promise. I think I need a little bit more of my initial shade here on the lid. This eye seems to be brighter than this one. I don't know. But we're going to add some more friends all right I do want a little bit of depth I do want some depth um with everything in front of me I don't think I have something super deep going to my shop my stash here even in this palette the, I want something a little bit deep. Well, let's use that. Let's 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 see. Let's see. <laughs> I'm gonna take. Okay, we'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. Well, a little bit of. a model it's it's I don't know it's getting a little muddy grungy not in a bad way though I'm I'm doing all right we're doing all right with that that's pretty it's a pretty eye oh do I want to overdo it of course I do so what I want to do this really this sparkle here is really calling me for Mora the diamond oh my god stardust I'm gonna just I'm gonna just take a little bit I'm gonna take the same brush I'm gonna take the same brush I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just put some on my hand, dab it on the brush real quick. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just. <laughs> oh my god, a little bit of sparkle, just a, just a bit of sparkle. You can barely tell. 
Uh, I don't know what I created here. The green, the, 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 the almost shimmery. I don't know. But I am having a blast. That's what your makeup should be about, friends. That's what it should be about. Every look doesn't have to be super intricate, detailed, cut, creases, winged, liner. Don't have to be like that. You can just slay. Pick something you like. Colors that are going to bring you joy that day and do it. I'm going to take the uh, At Glance Shadow Stick, the green that we talked about. And I'm going to use that. That's going to be my waterline. Let me not break the damn thing because that's what I do. I'm actually going to do water and lower lash line. Yeah, we're going to get it. We're going to get the green up in there. So pretty. Okay. Yeah. I like what I got going on. It's cute. Damn. Mmm. Alright. So, for mascara, I... Do I want to open that one up? I don't really want to yet. I don't really want to. We're going to go with my current favorite mascara. It's been, I've been using it. I bet it's not a surprise. I have been wearing this mascara out. Whether I wear lashes or not. It's the Milani um, Highly Rated Extensions Mascara. Uh, it's really good. It's a tubing mascara. Um, and it, it does the damn thing. So I'm going to apply... you see and I also think with glasses some people are just oh some people are strictly glasses wearers and I get it and if you are a glasses wearer and you just like you just can't do contacts and you are a makeup wearer glasses definitely help they can be forgiving of the look like I got a little smudge there I might fix it I might fix it I don't know <laughs> um they're forgiving okay I'm seeing a little bit of not creasing but it almost seems like on this eye a little bit of like fading like it's fading what this eye's fine this maybe I had something on my lid a little bit of like the eye cream or something I'm not quite sure um uh, it's like one spot the the makeup is having trouble sticking so I'm gonna put a little bit more on right there weird looking good um this mascara is probably on its last leg because it's yeah okay all right let me add a little bit more to this eye like I said it's looking a little weird right here okay well that showed up <laughs> huh okay we'll go with it we'll go with it it's a little weird all right Let's get into this face. Let's get into this face, friends. Um, ooh. ooh, I'm so excited. Um, I'm going to double prime. I got some new stuff. I got some old stuff. Um, I'm going to double prime with my new Mora primers. A couple of them. I am going to start with the uh, pore vanishing primer so and then I'm gonna go I just want to talk about something <laughs> mattifying primer their mattifying primer I'm gonna put both of those on I am gonna focus the pores um, more in the center of my face and then the mattifying will be all over okay so I have this itch to not physically to, I want to go to an old-fashioned discount store. Now, hear me out. Hear me out. I can't really explain it. It's definitely something that's like 
not in every community but definitely in like smaller cities and towns or like poor areas when I was growing up, I grew up in Baltimore. When I was growing up, there was all these little, these stores. I wouldn't necessarily call them little. But there were these discount stores, like there's a store called G.C. Murphy. There was a store called The Lot Store. And now these stores are replaced with like your, your Big Lots. Or like your, I don't want to say Marshalls and TJ Maxx. Because the stores didn't necessarily have like all name brands you knew. But it was just like, and it sold weird things. You could get like washcloths and dish detergent but then they have like weird back scratchers I can't explain it like a almost like an Ollie's almost like an Ollie's um Ollie's is probably the closest but they weren't as like I just can't I remember growing up and we would go to these stores and find just and find weird things but sometimes find staples like the dish detergent there would be like 69 cents as opposed to other places or the dollar store like it was a thing and <laughs> And like I want to go somewhere to get and all and the stuff wasn't always like bad quality. Like I said, you can get your dish detergent name brands. It was just I I don't know what those like they're just discount maybe liquidation type of stores. Um, and you don't really see those anymore. Things everything is going up. People are things that shouldn't be five, six dollars or five, six dollars. And like, I don't know. I know I sound old. Um, so I have a lot of uh, color correctors. I'm trying out the e.l.f. I'm loving the NARS brightener. Um, the uh, Mora has one I'm, I have to use. But I've had this in my... I did a haul on it. I had it in my thing. And I don't um, remember when the last time I used it. This is the um, Flower Beauty by Drew Barrymore. Um, this is their corrector, brightener, and it's in the shade Deep Peach. So I am going to put this on under the eyes and things like that because, yeah, I haven't, I don't know how I feel about it. So, but yeah, those like this, like my whole point of this, like I know we also have like a roses. I don't know if you, you guys have roses where you are, um, but ro ooh, roses um, is a discount like store, but like, I don't know, I want somewhere good. And I, wow, huh, it's, it's a good color. Is it correct? And we'll see once I add the concealer. Um, there's a roses, but like, I just want, I was like, I want to go somewhere like, I don't want to do like a full on shopping spree of full price. <laughs> I want to go somewhere where like, oh, I found, I found these little, little eyeshadow palettes for a dollar. Um, I don't know. I, oh God, I can't explain it. I used to go to Rite Aid and Rite Aid would have, I don't know if you guys watched my channel way back in the day when I really first started my channel and I was collecting makeup. I don't like the way this smells. Um, it's like a chemical. I don't like it. It goes away once it's on your face, but I don't like it. Um, anyway, um, I'm going to set that with my Mora powder. I swear this video is not sponsored by Mora. But, I, I don't know, I want to do some, like, bargain finds. I was talking about my planner and, like, craft supplies and stuff. Everything is going up. I want to go somewhere where, like, I can get cute little stickers and stuff for 20 cents. Like, those stores used to exist. Especially in, like, your, like my local neighborhood. Like, you could go into a store and they have uh, everything, a little bit of everything on the wall. Um, like, I don't know. I... I don't know. But I want to. I want to find those little small hole in the wall bargain stores. I don't know. Um, if you know, you know. If you had a neighborhood with those type of stores. But like, oh, where'd you get those little, those little slot, those little, uh, what we call them, the Chinese slippers. Where'd you get those from? Those kind of stores. The beauty supply, the look, but like those kind of stores. Anyway. Um, I'm going to use my NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. I pulled it out of my shop, my stash. This primer, though, the combination of these primers, my skin almost looks too dry. Well, damn. Well, damn. I need to ex I, I exfoliate every day. And now I have the, yeah, this, that primer, hold on. 
Hold on. Let me scrub a little. I see some dry flakiness around my nose that the primer kind of attached to. And I don't want that to show up once I add the foundation because this foundation is matte. Sorry. But I just noticed. But I am matte and and um like wow. Wow. Okay. Alright. Get that off my nose. I'm going to do something I don't normally do. I'm going to spray a little bit of setting spray now before. Like a couple pumps. And then let's put on our foundation. The NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. Oh. I haven't worn this in a while. The shade here, I am Deep 2 New Caledonia, Caledonia, and I'm going to use a brush. I'm not going to do, I'm going to do it lightly. Ooh. Yeah. Let's put that on. Okay, pretty. Yes, Nars, we know we love this. We know we love it. I'm going to just even out my skin here. Put way too much on my hand. Way too much. But yeah, we're going to like a discount store. Because like I was doing my, like I said, I was doing my planner. And I was like, <laughs> I just, I don't know. I also want to go, I'm so mad that there's no Daiso around me. The huge, I believe it's Asian. Daiso is... Japanese? I'm not quite sure. I know it's, I think it's Asian though. Base. But there's one in California. It's like a huge 99 cent store. And they have a lot of fun stuff. Um, jealous about that. So I'm going to put this on. There we go. Can't wait for you guys to see my new glasses. I can't wait. So we got the foundation on. Put way too much on my hand. But things are evened out. This color is a smidge deep a smidge deep but we're gonna work that out uh for concealer i'm gonna try the um mega conceal the new mega concealer from moira brushes today because I didn't um I don't have a sponge ready I don't have a sponge ready what else did I want to talk to you guys about I forgot I forgot I don't know I mean I wanted to film here we're also going to go um play mini golf later um I like mini golf and I found out that my boyfriend likes mini golf too we've never played together <laughs> So we're going to go. Neither one of us claim to be professionals. Let me be clear. We just going to go. So I'm going to blend this out. I like my eyes. I do. They're kind of all over the place. Like, not in a messy way, but like the color shift. Because that, this definitely has some shift in it. The crystal visions. It has more shift that's going to pick up on camera. And then like when I turn a certain way, the darker green from the Mora... But then I did put that sparkle on there. It's it's all, but it's not necessarily giving dual chrome. It's just giving you don't know where to focus your eyes, and that's fine. But then it's gonna be hidden behind my glasses. So yeah, I like that. I like that, and I like that I didn't do liner today because I was going to, but I like that I didn't. So I'm gonna blend this concealer. First time I'm using this concealer, and holy coverage. Oh baby, oh baby, oh, Huda, Huda Beauty, she has a new color corrector, I will be trying it, <laughs> oh my goodness, oh this concealer baby, it's covering, it's concealing, I like that, let me get close up, 
What does it look like though? <gasps> it looks good. And my nose has calmed down. Okay. Wow. Oh, I like that concealer. Let's set it. I'm going to set it with a puff. I'm going in with my NARS. Um, this is the Soft Matte Advanced Perfecting Powder. Um, this is the shade Bay, B-A-Y. It's definitely yellow. And this, this powder gives coverage. I probably shouldn't have used this. I probably should have went with my La Mercier, but we're going to do it. We're going to overdo it. Okay. I'm going to... That under eye looks good. Oh, that under eye looks. Oh, I love that combo. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um, I am going to set my face with. I was gonna use. I was gonna use my Mac, um, but I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier this is a lighter powder because this foundation like I said is a smidge dark you can't really tell now once everything's going to be blended out but but I want to make sure I'm going to have to blend out my bronzer a little bit more once I take my scarf off oh friends that concealer look looks wonderful wow okay Moira killing it again killing it again okay let's contour a little more bronze that's bronze um I pulled out the shop miss a um Venetian romance cream bronzer in Santa Maria I'm gonna use this today let me get an appropriate brush to get up in here uh, say so make sure okay so a little bit okay pretty I can kind of sculpt with it as well. Oh, wow, my face. Y'all, look at my face. My face looks, it looks good. I'm happy. I'm really happy. All right. So it's blush time and I want to wear, I have a huge, with all the new blushes, the new hauls, I have a huge new thing of cream and liquid blushes. Um, we're going to go with the one from Shop Miss A. Why not? Do I have more of a, do I have more of a neutral? The Venetian Romance line from Shop Miss A. So far so good. So far, so good. Ooh, I want to highlight my inner corner. Okay, I'm going to go with this one. This is called Duchess. This is a cooler tone pink. I think it'll go well with the eyes and everything. So I'm going to take my e.l.f. putty brush. This will fit in the pot nicely. Alright, I don't want to overdo it. Oh, I'm going to put it on some in the back of my hand. Look at that. All that came off. Let's not overdo it. Some things you overdo, some things you don't overdo. And these cream liquid blushes is one of them. <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. That diffused really nicely. We are learning today. This is a great get ready with me. Because I'm using a lot of new things. And that diffused really nicely. Look at that color. That's beautiful. And I'm going to take my foundation brush without any more foundation on it just so it looks even more natural and blended out is too perfect 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 so let me see i'm not even going back in the container 
I'm just gonna use what's on the back of my hand with this blush. Oh, they're pigmented. A dollar eighty-eight cents. Oh my god! I am having a wonderful time right now. I hope you are too. I really hope you are. Come through, green eyes. Every time I stare at them, come through. Come through. So we're going to apply this blush. And again, that was the shade Duchess. Um, oh. I might have to, I just reorganized my liquid. Like I told, I told you guys this, I, my liquid and cream blush drawer because I was all they were all in one and I had to give them a second drawer because there's so many now I'm gonna have to re reorganize and I'm not even mad I'm gonna craziness absolute insanity <laughs> oh my goodness all right for highlight I have um I'm still playing with the Juvia's Place ones really love these um I don't want to, that they. I pulled those out, but I think I'm just going to go with my, what I have out here in the shop, my stash. This is the uh, uh, Fenty Toasted Swirl Chocolate Swiller. I just, I don't feel like doing the liquid highlight today. That's all. Um, but anyway, I um, used to go start my makeup journey right in. Friday would have all this clearance makeup. It would have so much clearance makeup. And I would get like lipsticks and stuff for like 19 cents. Like when they went on clearance, it went on clearance. There's not many Rite Aids anymore because Walgreens bought them. Um, but. Yeah. Don't know what lip I want to wear. Ooh, that was a lot. <laughs> I don't know what lip I want to wear. Um. Hmm. I also need an inner corner. I feel like that's what's missing. Let's brighten up this inner corner of my eye. I don't want to use the highlight though. I want something a little bit more shocking. Let's go with the Mora. Let's see what we have here. Let's see. I don't know. That's a gray. No, that's so pretty. Oh my god, I love things in jars. Oh my goodness. I could release a line, um, a makeup line where everything's in a jar. <laughs> the validate. Like I could do cream and balm products. I, I, years ago, I probably wouldn't ever say that out of my mouth. But um now like i love i love powder products as well so my line would have powder products as well but foundations concealers uh shadows blushes bronzers everything in a jar <laughs> and have a powder version and i have a jar version you can have cream blush and bronzer clean cream blush products in compacts nope put it in a jar don't put it in a tube don't put it in some sort of applicator with a sponge don't give me a doe foot if it's cream We've been a little thicker than the cream war, but it's going in a jar. Period. I'm going to take this Mora <laughs> shadow in white, pearl white. That's going in my inner corner. Pearl white is a classic inner corner. Let me get a tiny detail brush over here. See what I can grab. I'm doing a little more than I would because I will be wearing glasses. So. Okay. Blend. I blend it. A lot on that side, but oh well. 
Hold on. That's pretty. Mmm. I could layer a little bit of glitter. Alright, I gotta stop. Okay. Alright. I gotta stop. Oh, she's so cute. I'm gonna set this and then I'll put my lower mascara on. I am using the best rose setting spray from Mora. I don't know what lip. I think I'm going to do a nude, ombre nude, matte nude lip. I think I'm going to do that. But let me put my lower mascara on and then put my clothes on, I think. Because I got to see the outfit. You got to wear the outfit. All right, I'm gonna put on my clothes, get the outfit together, and then see that lip. I'll be back for the lip. I almost forgot, since we are wearing glasses, we're gonna do our little powder trick. I'm using the La Mercier one that I sat with, and I'm gonna pick up uh, a bit, well, a bunch, from the, um, on, a, on a, let me get myself together, on a puff. <laughs> and I'm gonna press it into my sides of my nose here. So we can just get that extra layer of protection for our glasses. Okay, I'll be back. I promise. Okay, so I'm back. We're going to do an ombre nude lip. Well, um, and then we're going to try on these glasses. So, uh, for my lip liner, I'm going to use the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon in, um, girl, I don't know, Drive the Future. So I'm going to put that one as my... Uh, liner because this ain't going nowhere it's not really a brown it's more of a plummy color but it works And I'm going to take some tissue and blot the lip liner. That's what we have. And I have this Beauty Creations lip, Matte Liquid Lip in the shade Snatched. Um, I got this, I got a while ago. I got um, the two, like they came with like little... Oh my gosh, like sets. I don't want to say they're vaults. It wasn't that many. But there was like their nudes collection and their reds collection. Um, and so I'm going to grab one of these, a matte liquid lipstick, and throw this on a thin layer and blend the two together. Yeah. Oh, I got a piece of skin on my lip. I should have used my exfoliator. I should have used it. But I don't feel like it now. I don't feel like it now. Let me, let me get my lip together. <laughs> okay, it wasn't that bad. All right. actually gonna blot it Let's see what we got that's pretty that's really pretty yeah I'm down for that I am down for that let me get the lip ring cleaned off I'm down for that <laughs> pink and green go together You ready? You ready for the glasses? So, all of these glasses I purchased from Zelo. I showed you guys my Zenny ones last week. Um, and then the Zelo ones just came. So, the first pair I'm going to show you are the, I got five pair, are the only pair that I think are a little too tight. Um, all the others feel great. 
all the prescriptions like all of the glad like the prescriptions fine all of that these are the first pair um they just they stretch out a little bit they're a smaller frame and these will be in the house glasses yeah so we have these I'll link all the glasses um down below okay I will link them first pair all right I'm really I'm excited about all of them this next pair we love a gold moment <sighs> metal frame look at the gold oh I might wear these today this is a runner for today this is a runner for today I'm wearing a uh, romper but it's like a night it's giving it's giving 90s it's like a skirt but it's short so it, but this is the color of it um, <laughs> so and I'm wearing my uh, I'll show you my shoes I'm wearing my um, Croc Mega Crush sandals because we're gonna play mini golf. I'm not gonna throw a heel on. I ain't got time for that. Um, oh, that's so cute. Damn it. That looks good. <laughs> okay, then we have these. We love a. Oh, I didn't even take the plastic off. We love a uh, tortoise shell over here. Let me see if I can get this plastic off. Does it slide off? Okay. I ain't worried about it right now because I'm not wearing these tonight. But <laughs> all together, all five pairs of glasses was a little over a hundred dollars. So let's say around twenty bucks a piece. Some were less, but you know. All right, and then this is the same pair I got um, just in two colors. Look, these are the navy blue. Oh, how cute. And then what I thought I was going to wear tonight um, are the white ones. But that gold pair, putting those on with this look. These are the, the creamy, milky white. Listen. <laughs> Listen. I'm feeling myself. I just, I just, I think I'm wearing the gold ones tonight, though. They go better. This is giving me casual jeans, some ripped jeans with my chucks. Um, and a white tee, a crisp white v-neck. And then the glasses say everything else. Also a red lip. That's what it's saying to me. These are what we're going to do today. Oh, yeah. Abs absolutely. Absolutely. <sighs> well... Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about any of the products mentioned in this video, feel free to leave it down below. Love you all, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!